Hello again and welcome back to Through a Geordie Lens and today we're in Eshcombe near Bishop Auckland but first don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and for those that have already subscribed thank you it's much appreciated so let's begin Eshcombe is a village two miles west of Bishop Auckland and within the village is a small Anglo-Saxon church, one of only four in the UK that is still intact. It was thought to have been built around 670 to 690 AD. Much of the stone was taken from the nearby Roman fort at Binchester. It has a small circular churchyard which is an indication that it was of Celtic foundation. The building itself was a simple two-cell structure. When you go inside the church, you'll see that it is of enormous and disproportionate height even by the standards of other Anglo-Saxon churches. Only five of the windows are the originals, two on the south side, two on the north side and high on the west wall. Some simple Gothic windows were added in the 13th century and the south porch was built in the 14th century. In the 19th century there were more windows inserted and a new door installed in the porch. The font is probably 7th century and contains lock holes on the edges that date from the 13th century and were added to prevent baptism water being taken for superstition purposes. Services are still regularly held and on the first Sunday of every month at 4pm a non-communion service in Celtic tradition is held with the congregation using a special Gaelic prayer rooted in Celtic tradition. That fits nicely with the atmosphere of the place. As the rain hides the stars, as the autumn mist hides the hills, as the cloud veils the blue of the sky, so the happenings of my lot. Hide the shining of the face from me, yet if I may hold thy hand in darkness, it is enough, since I know that though I may stumble in my going, Thou dost not fall. A Saxon sundial built into the south wall is still in its original position. It has a beast and a fishtail serpent as well as three marks on the dial that show the early monks three principal times of worship around which their lives revolved. There's also a 17th century sundial on the porch.
you like the contents of this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It'll be much appreciated. Thanks for watching.